Hey guys, what's up? It's Paper Anomaly. Um, I just saw a very important video on Tumblr about consent and verbal consent versus implied consent. And I just thought that the two cents I had to offer might agree with some people. So instead of typing out this long-winded message that nobody would bother reading anyway, I would just post it in a video and maybe with those of you that agree with me, you could reblog it and maybe spread the message, spread my technique, I guess, and maybe the world will end up being a better place. Anyway, um, they were talking in this one part in the video about before a couple has sex, if stopping to get that verbal consent kills the mood or not. I personally don't think it does. I would much rather take two seconds to ask my submissive, Cherry, if she would like to play and take another two seconds to reaffirm that okay, than to jump right into it without consent and end up hurting her trust towards me or end up losing her altogether. She's an amazing woman. Most of you doms out there, you know what I'm talking about. Your kitten's your kitten for a reason. You love her, you'd give her the world. You'd spank her ass till it turned red if she wanted you to. You'd do anything for her. After this, this conversation can go one of two ways, if you're a man. If she or he says no, that is as far as any physical contact or any physical interaction goes, no ifs, ands, or buts. Con consensual sex takes two people to happen. Two people. If one person doesn't want it, there's no consensual sex to be had, and anything after that can be constituted as rape. That's it. If she or she says yes, Personally, when Cherry and I are about to play and she gives me a verbal yes as well as a you have my permission or I give you my consent affirmation after the yes, I always require both of those from her. One, it makes, it makes her really think about if she wants to play or not and it makes her sure the entire way through. I stop all physical contact after that yes and that added on information to set boundaries with her and hard limits with her. The ones that she wants depending on her mood that day. It also, And I also remind her that if at any time she no longer wants to play, if I make un her uncomfortable at any point in time during the scene, she has all the power over me to stop me. And all that power comes within one single word. That's all she has to do to get you to stop. And all you dom, all you, all you so-called doms out there, fuckboys, that thinks she needs to go a little farther or that she can do a little more, you don't deserve the title as daddy. She has power over you even when she's on her knees sucking your cock. If you, if you think she needs to do more than that when she's afraid, you need to be one on your knees with a blindfold and ball gag in your mouth. That's all I can say. Not only does this prevent me from going too far and scaring her and losing her, but it reaffirms with her that I care about what she wants, that I'm striving to keep her comfortable, that she's in control the entire time, and that I care about her. When Cherry and I play, her needs always come before mine. I can wait to have sex. If she does not want to play, then my pleasure can wait. And once you get in the routine of doing this when you're with your significant other, whether you be boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, submissive slave, it does not kill the mood. It establishes the mood and it gives both partners an obvious verbal cue that sex is about to begin and that you can trust one another to end it if it needs to or to maybe go another time. Um, so that's all I have to say. If you agree with me, maybe send off a reblog, maybe share it with your pals. 
and spread the word to the fuckboys out there that don't agree with me. Yes means yes, no means no, an absence of a no, most importantly, an absence of a no does not mean yes. Stay cool, y'all.